guys welcome back to our channel i am back with our cooking series and today we're going to be making a foriro a foriro is basically vegetable soup and but in a in a nigerian way so i'm going to be showing you guys how to make it this dish is super easy it's full of vitamins and vitamins and protein so it's definitely something that i would advise you guys to try so we're just gonna dive on into the ingredients you're going to need to make the soup. So, the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need red red bell peppers, like paprikas. You can use tomatoes, but you can use these as well. I've tried it with tomatoes, but I think I like it better when I use these because the soup is less watery. I just like my vegetables to be very like dense, not watery. So I'm going to be using three big uh, paprika or red bell peppers you're going to need kale normally in nigeria we use either pork this is pumpkin uh, pumpkin leaf but we don't have we don't have i don't have access to it right now so i'm just going to use kale but you can also use spinach just depend on what you're going for but i think kale works perfectly perfect for this dish you're also going to need beef i'm using beef and you're going to need some smoked chicken you can use smoked turkey but I'm going for smoke uh, chicken and the one ingredient that you really need to have for this soup is the palm oil like I don't know if I would advise you guys to try it without palm oil then it's not like a foriro anymore because palm oil is the essence of a foriro so but if you don't if you don't have access to palm oil you can use a regular oil but I will really urge you to get your hands on this because it just has the taste that you cannot mimic with any other kind of oil if you, if you know what i mean you're going to need some scotch banana if you like it spicy i love my spicy and you're going to need some maggie cube for seasoning salt so those are all the things you need to uh make this vegetable soup so right now i'm just going to do, do what i did um the last time i'm just going to cook the meats so like what what how I showed you guys last time. So basically just cut the meat into the pieces, into the sizes you want, and you're just going to uh, cook it. While the meat is cooking, I'm just going to prepare my bell peppers now because I'm going to be blending them. So I just cut them open, take out this thing from the inside, and I just cut them in like small bits so um, it's easy for me to blend them. Like, so you can see what I'm doing here. So it's easy for me to blend them later. Another ingredient that I forget to tell you that you guys are going to need you're going to need one onion one big onion as well so i'm just going to cut these and prepare them after i'm done i'm just going to go um blend them and you can blend them to till it's like super smooth but i like mine not to be all smooth so i leave i let it a little bit um well, I'm going to show you when I'm done blending the texture of it. So we're going to start I already like on the fire I just put my pan in like this and I normally like using the work pan but you can choose any kind of pan you want to use and I'm just going to add my um, palm oil <clears throat> just like so add your onions
I'm just gonna let that fry for about a minute. So right now I'm going to add the the bell peppers that we blended like so. And you're just going to let that cook or fry for about five minutes. <clears throat> so right now this is it. Now we can add our vegetable, so the kale, just going to add it. Mind you, mine is already pre-washed, so I will be add, adding it like in portions. gonna let that cook for like two minutes add the meat which I already pre-cooked just like that just stir that all together I think I have way too much beef done I'm going to show you guys in a few and normally I would eat it with pounded yam or eba but I'm offering for a healthy uh, swallow today I'm going to be making the oatmeal swallow for the first time I hear it's more healthy than the yam which is full of carbohydrates and you know we're trying to cut down on the carbs so I'm just gonna do it I've watched how to do it on YouTube so I'm just gonna do it I've already like boiled my water and I'm using just one cup of oatmeal, just regular oatmeal and I'm gonna give it a try. So my water is already boiled, I'm gonna turn it in the pan, I think it should be enough, I hope. And then you're supposed to pour in the oatmeal, stirring it, God, I hope this turned out good because Otherwise, my meal is just going to like. I need to off this. So we're just going to stir it. I think I don't have enough oatmeal for the water that I added. So I'm just going to like do more. And then you're going to continue to stir it apparently and you're going to on the fire and we're just going to continue to stir it I don't know how this is going to turn out guys I really hope it turned out good but we're going to do this together right now it's not bad at all 
I don't know if it tastes good though, but we'll see. And this is the soup or the stew or the vegetable, whatever you want to call it. So right now we're going to go eat. For the first time I'm trying the oatmeal. That's the oatmeal. Uh... Do you want to try? Yes. It is, the, it is weird though, I don't know, but... That is, it is more healthier. How's the structure? Feel it. It is like it swallow. It's yummish. Yummish. Looks like yum. Kind of yum. Hmm. So it's very good. Do you like it? Yeah, it's very nice. Mm. Giuseppe is eating his with. Sorry, I'm, I'm so dark. Why am I so dark? I don't know. Whatever. Yes, she is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there somewhere. Be careful with Zuri's head. Alright, but anyways, Giuseppe is eating his with um brown rice. With brown rice, while I'm eating mine with oatmeal. We're healthy people. Mm -hmm. It's good, babe. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, very nice. It's really good. This is it's healthy, right? Super healthy. It's just kale and meat mm. and some uh, green. Um, it's got a lot of taste. Bell peppers. You like it? Mm, very nice. You like the palm oil? Can you mm. taste the palm oil in it? Of course, I know it. <laughs> and it's not. Mm. Mm. Try it, guys. It's you gave me the recipe? Mm -hmm. mm. I showed them how to make it. Make it, make it. Your husband, boyfriends, lovers, whatever, they will enjoy it. We enjoy it. It's really. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It tastes really good. Yeah. Yes. Add it to the rotation. Rotation. Add it to the food rotation. I would like to have this twice a month from now on. Twice a month? Do you guys say that? He would like to have it twice a month. Oh, some food ready. That's your food, Buba. Are you gonna go get it yourself? <laughs> <laughs> like that, Dad. That's not so. That's not so nice, Dad. Just kidding, my love. That was the video for today. I hope you guys um, enjoyed, enjoyed it. it. I did. But yeah, comment below if you make this recipe or tag us an image of it on uh, Instagram. We'd love to see it. And yeah. And we'll see you guys in our next video. If you're Nigerian or if you're used to Nigerian food, you can also comment on what you would want me to make next for you guys. If that's something you guys would want. Can I put a request too? You want to put a request? He wants to put a request. Yeah, you can. Not like banka soup. Yeah. Jollof rice. Yeah. Um, chicken stew. Yeah. Uh, is that enough for now? For now. Alright. Okay. And we'll start with those. Yeah. But anyways, thank you guys so, so much. We'll see you guys in our next video. Bye!